Hey guys, welcome back. Glass Moon Gaming, another music reaction here today. So I have something special for everyone today. Um, July 4th is a special day for a few reasons. First and foremost, for me anyway, it's the birthday of the United States of America, where I live. So happy 246th birthday to the United States. Um, those of you who are out there who are going to be celebrating, uh, be responsible and have a safe celebration. Secondly, you can see we are doing another baby metal reaction, and today is also Moa Metal's birthday. So, happy 23rd birthday to Moa Metal. In celebration of her 23rd birthday, I have a special lineup in store for today. First uh, video for today, we're going to take a look at a group of songs. Uh, way back after my first ever baby metal reaction to Akatsuki, it was suggested to me that I take a look at three specific songs in order from the Legend 1997 show. So, if all goes right, we'll be reacting to Headbanger, followed by Akatsuki, the unfinished version, and finally Death. Uh, from the playlist I'm looking here, it looks like it happens to be the last three songs in the show, so perhaps that's why they wanted me to watch it in this specific order. Uh, my intention is to have all of these shows in one video, but if you happen to see this when it's released broken up into three separate videos, um, well, then you know something happened to cause that because that's not my intention. Uh, and because it's a special day, I'll be dropping a second Baby Metal video later on today. Um, given one of the songs that I'm reacting to in this first video and correlating whose birthday it is today... Uh, you fans can probably guess what the second video will be. But we're not going to put any spoilers out there right now. You'll just have to come back and check it out. Um, let's get on with this show. If you have a reaction request and want it pushed to the front of the line, or you'd like early access to videos and other exclusive content, join us on Buy Me A Coffee and help support the channel. Simply click the link in the description below and find out all the details we have to offer, regardless of what you choose, Everyone's support is greatly appreciated. Finally, don't forget to show your support by liking, subscribing, hitting that notification bell, and leaving any suggestions in the comment section below. All of that helps our channel grow, activates the algorithm, and gets our videos out to more and more people. Let's get to it. This is probably going to be a long video. Um, I will pause it as limited as possible, but I really want this to be one video, so I might have to pause it a lot more than I would really want to in a longer video. Links to the originals will all be in the description below. Kind of excited about this. All right, so that, that opening was pretty damn epic. Uh, the organs, I always love a good pipe organ. They set scenes so well. Uh, and then like the carnival music box sound and then mixed with the heavy metal, and then back to the carnival, and then that dancing and hopping with the uh, the very, very kawaii voices going on there. It's always an interesting mix. As you can see, a uh, big smile on my face. That is nuts. So let's are going to get back into the course. That is nuts. The the crowd jumping all in unison. I mean, you could tell that they have such good control over their crowds, and their crowds actually lo absolutely love them. How lucky these people are to be at a concert like this. And I know that, and I would understand that uh, shows here outside of Japan of theirs probably aren't as huge as production. It would make sense. They'd have to bring all this stuff around or have multiple setups around the world. I don't care. I would still think it'd be amazing to be at a concert of theirs. Um, if the Fox God allows them to come back, then it'll be another one that I will, I will be at. All right. That... 
Oh, there's that evil stare. <laughs> Fog guns. Oh, that's epic. How fun would that be? Look at that stare right there. That Sue Metal evil glare. Freaking fantastic. For such a sweet <laughs> young girl to have that stare. And how much fun must Yui and Moa have uh, when they get to go in the corners there and then go either dance or, uh, you know, in this case, shoot people with smoke guns or at least shoot smoke guns and stuff out or fog guns. That is fantastic. That stare, though, is just epic. That synth in the back is freaking cool, too. Now we're back to this uh this little the intro part with like the musical box carnival type sound. I mean this this song is great. It has a little bit of everything. Great melody, great performances, great stage presence, great change ups, great crowd interaction. This is some fun stuff. <laughs> Marionettes. It also amazes me that uh, the amount of the, like the sheer aerobic workout that they have during a performance and still Sue is able to keep her notes on point for the entire length of the concert and have no, no issues with it at all. I mean, I'd be out of breath in about 10 seconds, but I'm fat and out of, out of shape, obviously. Uh, but uh, I mean, you guys told me that like before they go on tour, uh, like they spend months doing just pure cardio and I can see why because they would definitely need it um, It's really really hard to sing For young people to sing long concerts in and of themselves for them to add dancing and a bunch of cardio to it It's great. It makes perfect sense why they do some split offs with the black baby metal and sue solos it Gives each each group a little bit of time of rest in there between it but that cardio that they have out throughout the entire shows from what I've seen so far, it's just insane.
That's pretty sweet. All right, so that was headbanger, and that song definitely was a headbanger. Uh, absolutely insane. Let's talk about that song before we go into the next one, real quick. All right, absolutely insane song. Absolutely loved the song. It was absolutely great. So much energy, so much work went into that song, and it paid off. Uh, you guys are going to have to give me a little bit of background of the song. Uh, like, what, when did the, and the, and the show in particular, too. Uh, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to guess these were the last three songs in the show. But uh, I'm not sure because that just immediately went over and it cut. So I'm not sure, obviously, the list that I'm doing here was, was edited a little bit, and it's not the actual full show, uh, as far as, they, I mean, it looked like some stuff got cut out between the two. Uh, but uh, it's the songs, I'm, I'm assuming, are still in order. I tried to find a listing online, but I couldn't really find anything that I could understand, and if it was uh, actual. Anyway, just give me some background on this. We're going to move on now to the next song, and our next song is the Akatsuki Unfinished version. We have heard Akatsuki, and I've listened to Akatsuki a million times since I've uh, reacted to the full version a long time ago. It's definitely one of them on my playlist, and I hear it all the time when I go into work. Uh, but now it's Unfinished version, and I'm, just, I'm curious what the difference is going to be, so let's uh, let's get into it. You guys will have to give me the gist of what this translates to. Or someone will probably give me the exact translation. Now, this was the first song I ever reacted to on for baby metal. Um, so it's what brought me into this genre. Uh, and then you guys telling me to keep going with it because as I remembered it, if I remember from the, I, I always knew, I always thought there were three of them. And when only one of them came out here, I got confused. You guys assured me that there were three and convinced me to go on, which I did. And I've gone down this rabbit hole and it has been a crazy journey with some crazy music crazy talent <laughs> and this song i i still love this song to this day uh her voice is absolutely beautiful and that shines through right here as well i'll be curious to see if it if they get to the uh, rock part of it or not or i mean like i said this is the unfinished version so i don't know what that actually means we'll probably find out here though
this is amazing. It appears that it's going to be, at least as of right now, it's pretty much just piano and Sue, and that mixture is great. It is so different than the, uh, the other version. It is so beautiful. Wow. I don't know which one I like better. At the moment, I'm liking this version better. They both have their merits, but this just really shows her skill and her talent. This is beautifully shot, too. So good. I mean, this is, I'm, I'm almost speechless from this. Just on how different it is. But at the same time, it's obviously the same song. But the way this one is done, it's, it's, it's like perfection. I, I, it's hard to believe, but I do think I like this version better. I like the more rawness of it. Her voice really, really stands out here. And it is unbelievably cool especially if this is like the end of the show and this is how they're ending it with this and they have one more song after this that is really freaking cool the lighting on this is amazing someone's got to tell me what that statue is in the back anyway um curious what it, if it has any significance or if it's just a stage prop uh but oh man let's finish let's just finish this out and, uh, wow. That is just absolutely crazy. All right, let's talk about that. Jeez, guys, that was so unexpected. I mean, when I, when I heard unfinished version, I thought there would be like a verse missing or like they hadn't finished the whole song. I was not expecting acoustic and you know, so raw, just raw vocals and piano. That was amazing. Thanks for the sub. I've, I've secretly wondered. That looks like someone just subscribed to me. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see, who was that? This is unexpected. Uh, that was uh, Kaya Andrian. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, you made it into my YouTube video as well. Awesome. Uh, but uh, I was not expect. I've always wondered, like secretly, that have do, does Baby Metal have ballads that I would that I would truly consider a ballad? I mean, I thought the original Akatsuki 
uh, started out as a ballad, and then they just ramp it up into into metal, and it's great. Uh, but this now I would classify as a true ballad. I don't know if they have any other ones. Uh, definitely nothing I've run into yet. But this was absolutely beautiful. Uh, absolutely loved it. Just insanely good. All right. We have one more to do in this trilogy. Uh, we have death. So let's, uh, let's uh, get that going. Death. Let's go. Such a, such a lovely, lovely name for a song. That is heavy. All right, that opening is really, really heavy. Uh, and I love that growl that just came in here. Haven't even heard any of, the, of, of Sue's vocals yet or the or Moa or Yui yet either. But I've kind of been spoiled of what happens during this video. So, I mean, this, this should be interesting to see how it partakes. Uh, but here we go. Nuts. This is just a nuts beat going on in the background right there. Were they spelling out baby metal? Is that what they were spelling out? I think that's what I heard them. <laughs> Which is which is cool as hell because it's also marketing. Uh, wow. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. It's it's because Sue and the and Mo and Yui have had so little vocals and it's just been the screams or the growls from I'm guessing someone in the commie band. Uh, it seems so much more. Hence the name death metalish than uh anything else they've played so <laughs> i'm very intrigued <laughs> I like that change up of the beat right there This is what I heard about. All right, I don't want to miss any of this, so I'm going to pause it here so we can get through some of it. This, a theatrical production of this is freaking fantastic. It's almost like going to a play. Uh, I definitely want to see an entire show through 
but I, I don't want to be spoiled by any of their songs. So you guys tell me what's the first entire uh, concert that I should see uh, if I'm going to if I was to watch an entire concert and it's uh, full, the, uh, the best one to watch for its theatrics and its storytelling and all that. Um, this one seems pretty epic so far, uh, but I want to know so I can get through all the songs on that so I'm not spoiled by anything. Uh, but yeah, let's let's see what's going to happen here. Imagery. It's it's so uh. <laughs> it's like I don't know if this would be allowed today. <laughs> What's up with the neck collar? There is something so intriguing, but also so creepy about worshiping these young girls and chanting death at the same time. <laughs> uh, it almost seems wrong, but it's so right because I know there's lore behind it. Um, and someone's going to have to tell me the lore behind this to make it make sense. Uh... Oh, good lord. Let's keep going. <laughs> what the hell? Lyrics in this song definitely are not hard. What the hell is going on? Statue falling apart. Oh, that was sweet. Oh my god, I want to know what happens after this. I so want to know what happens after this. Let's talk. All right. I want to know what happens after that. I mean, that's a that's an. <laughs> 
I don't even know what I was watching there. Uh, like I said, it's so weird watching a, a really young girl being crucified, you know, crucified or whatever, and uh, and then being worshipped while they're chanting death. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And then the statue breaks apart and falls apart at the very end. Oh my god, that was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Was that the end of the show? Was that the absolute end of the show? I want to know what happens after that. If anything happens after that. Oh my goodness. What did I just watch? Those three songs were absolutely fantastic. Headbanger was a definite banger. Uh, it was so good. It was fantastic. Great up, upbeat song. Uh, Akatsuki Unfinished. Unbelievably cool. Unbelievably epic. So glad we, I actually decided to watch that uh, with this. And I took the suggestion. And then Death. I, there's no words for it. <laughs> uh, there's, there's no words. I don't know what to even say about that. Except it was insanely good and insanely insane so crazy i'm just like i'm so speechless by that and what i just watched this definitely is going to be a, a fantastic monday uh to celebrate moa metal's birthday great way to start it remember come on back later we have the second video uh if all goes right it'll be the second video that is designed specifically for Moa Metal's birthday celebration. This was just the intro that I wanted to combine with it. You, by now, you guys probably know what it's going to be. Uh, you may, baby metal fans uh, told me about this, told me what it was for. So we're going to do it, and it, it, it makes sense. We're going to leave this video here. Uh, don't forget that I also stream... Um, I do games and I do uh, some music reactions. If you see me live online, stop by, drop me some chats. We'll have a good conversation. We'll talk about whatever you want. Um, link to all my social media is in the description below. Go ahead and follow me if you'd like. That's completely up to you. Uh, but you can keep up to date with what's going on on YouTube and outside YouTube. Uh, don't forget also vote in our Fan Choice Friday poll where you guys tell me what to react to every single Friday. Very simple. Go to the community tab, find the poll, vote for the band, and whoever wins, that's who I will react to. Um, today is Monday, so I will be pulling the poll tomorrow morning, uh, Eastern Time, United States, uh, when I wake up on Tuesday. So you guys have the rest of the day today and tonight to, uh, to vote. Make sure you get your vote in there. There's some great bands on this week's poll. I kind of changed the whole thing up. Um, since I forgot last week, I figured, screw it, we'll just start over from scratch and widen the horizon and go for it. So there's some great bands on there. So make sure you guys make your choice. Um, with that, I hope everyone has a great day, and I will catch you all next time.